Greetings and welcome to another episode of Play Unplugged TV. I'm your host, Enrico Nardini, here at Gen Con 2013. I'm here with Daisy Nanton again. Yes, we sir. we actually had got had a chance to do an interview uh, at Historicon 2013, but now we're here at Gen Con yeah, and yeah. more new releases. Yes, well, when we were at Historicon, I was giving the little teaser that the Apocalypse Survivors, the women, were about to come out. They came out and as you can see here, the pile has dwindled. They have been a great seller by far, our number one here at uh, Gen Con, and I think they'll probably end up being our number one for the time being of all time. I mean, they're eclipsing the guys, which women usually do, so, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we've brought out the women, and we have some painted here, but I think you'll need to get some close-ups later and maybe show them a little bit. Absolutely. Okay. And then also, what we have brand new at Gen Con, we haven't started selling it, but we've been showing some uh, great previews are our Dreamforge Mortis, the Leviathan Mortis, and then the Dreamforge 15 millimeter Crusader. That's really cool. And the thing about the, the 15 millimeter Crusader is neat because it's like it, it, it scales really well with other 15 millimeter sci-fi figures. Is Dreamforge planning on doing like 15 millimeter infantry and things like that? You know, I think that there could be plans for that in the future, but right now he's sticking more to the 28, 30 millimeter scale, and then more announcements will come as, as he brings in the 15. Right now he needs to focus on bringing out opposing forces for the, um, you know, the Eisenkern stormtroopers that we already have, as well as the large leviathans. So those will be next coming out, and then we'll, you know, stay tuned for 15 millimeter. And it's so great to see the Mortis out because it's such an intimidating. Oh yeah, yeah. He's been great, and we've had lines around. As you can see, the table back there is fully surrounded by people, you know, trying to get on a wish list to be the first to get him. After the Kickstarter, people, of course, get theirs. So, so we've got a complete range of zombies now. We've got male zombies and the zombie vixens. We've got Apocalypse Survivors, the men, and Apocalypse Survivors, women. You've got everything you could need for a zombie game, right from War Games Factory. But, and we've got all the, all the cool stuff coming on from Dreamforge, but now what about the future? Right. Well, in the future, we do plan on expanding the Dark Futures line, which is the zombies and the apocalypse survivors. A little too early to say what's next, but I'm sure everybody will be just as excited as they have been about the survivors. We'll keep expanding Dreamforge. We will also be expanding the Rising Sun line, our World War II line, and as I mentioned at Historicon, I can't quite yet give anything away, but we have six kits coming out in a new historical line that I think people will be very excited about. So stay tuned to our Facebook page, our forums, because we will start giving announcements in the fall about that. No, I absolutely understand NDAs and things like that, but as far as the, if, if I can ask one question about it, not the even the era, I'm not even going to ask what era it is, but is it the, are the six kits all going to be from one unified era? Yes, they are. They're from one war, and that's all I will tell you. Okay. Yeah. No worries, no worries. That, not a problem. That sounds awesome, though. It's a great tease, and it, I, I'm really uh, I'm excited to see what's next because the, the, the wars you guys have covered so far, the figures have been really great. I actually just did a, we did an unboxing of the uh, World War II Russian twenty oh, eights. Yes, thank you. Yes, we put that on our Facebook page. We really appreciated that. Oh, it was no a worries. Good unboxing. Yeah. yeah, awesome. And so, um, let's take a quick look at the mortise. Let's go. Let's walk on over. All right. Oh, we actually have a break around the table. So, yes. so tell us a little bit about this guy. Okay. Here. First off, just like the Leviathan Crusader, which I'm sure everybody's pretty familiar with at this point, fully articulated. We have quite a bit of him glued down because he's a display model, but with, I mean, the engineering on these are great. I am going to, you can see how it moves, but look at the, can you get a little close up there of how these joints are created? The engineering's phenomenal. You can switch out with the various weapons. Also, you can keep movability for gaming or display. Same here, everything moving. Also in the 15 millimeter, this will be a $59 retail, by the way, the 15 millimeter mm -hmm. Leviathan Crusader. The um, 28 millimeter Mortis will be $110 retail. And, but even in this little guy right here, you still have all this movement, see within his uh, Vulcan cannon. These kits, we hear, constantly from the people assembling them. We've never seen anything like this with the engineering. We feel we've surpassed it and we're going to keep going. Yes. The, art, the articulation is unbelievable and the posability is just fantastic. So one of the things I think is going to be really appealing to gamers is, is something that you just hinted, uh, something that you just showed us. Um, these kits, so you could have them armed one way, and then if you want to go like twin Vulcan cannons on these, you could switch them up and this guy could carry two guns. Exactly. Well, um, after the mortise comes out, we will have the... Um, four different arms because he comes equipped with the claw arm 
as well as the scythe. And the Leviathan Crusader comes with the Vulcan cannon, the choice of double Vulcan cannon, and then he comes with the blade. We are going to other side of the box here. There we go. We are going to bring out a lot of different optional arms and weapons that will be interchangeable between the two, all with that socket system that I just showed you. Yes. So. Awesome. This looks fantastic. Daisy, thank you so much for spending thank some time with you. us. And it's the last day of Gen Con. I'm a little fried, so if I appear tired, sure. I apologize. But we're, we've had a great convention, excited as always. Yeah, I, I, I took some pictures of the first day, and it looks like there's a lot less boxes around here. Oh, there are. It's been going down, and we love to see that. And we've had a lot of fun with all of our fans, as always. Thank you all. <laughs> no problem. Daisy, of course, most people probably already know by now, but just in case, if there's somebody who doesn't know where to find your stuff, where should they go? We can go to our website, which is www.wargamesfactory.com. And folks, we're on the internet too. Make sure you check out playonplug.com, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, leave a comment below because we love that stuff, and we'll see you... Where will we see you? Next time. Next time.